We've all heard of the legend of how Iceland got its name. According to the legend, the Vikings named Iceland to keep others away, while the Vikings named Greenland to attract others. While the legend is interesting, funny, and accurate for Greenland, it fails to accurately explain Iceland's name. In fact, the story of how Iceland got its name is, in my opinion, much more interesting than what the popular legend leads one to believe. Before the Norse came to Iceland, it laid empty, save for a few Irish monks that left before the Norse made contact. The first name that Iceland got was from a Norwegian named Nedard. According to the Landman book, Nedard had gotten lost during his travels to the Faroe Islands, which themselves were newly settled. Nedard ended up near a mysterious new land that none, to his knowledge, had ever stepped foot upon. Nedard would traverse the new land to look for any signs of settlement, but found none. Upon leaving the land for the Faroe Islands, he witnessed snow falling upon the mountain tops, and thus gave the creative name of Snailand. And although he praised the land greatly, he failed to return, leaving the island empty, and consequently once again nameless. The next explorer to reach the land would be a man by the name of Gadars Farsen, a Swede who traveled to the island under the direction of his mother, who was a prophet. It was him who discovered it was an island when he successfully traveled around it. He would build a house in Husavik for the winter. In the spring, when the sea became ice-free, three slaves escaped Gadars' control while he was preparing to travel back to Norway. The leader of the slaves, Nedfari, led the group to settle in an area known as Nedfarivik, making them perhaps the first permanent settlers of Iceland, although it's unknown for how long they lasted. Although Gadar, like Nedar before him, praised the land, he failed to return to the island, although not before he gave the islands a new name, Gadar's home. Floki Vildarkason became enthralled by the island that Gadar had discovered. Upon hearing good things about the island, Floki decided to take his family to the island. They first arrived in the Shetland Islands, where his daughter drowned in an accident. After the drowning, he took his family to the final leg of the journey to the island. With him were also three men, Thurl, Herlof, and Faxi. Loki took three ravens with him to sea to help find a way to the island. The first raven ran south, back to where they came from. The second raven returned back to the ship without pause. The third, however, flew north, to which they followed. The raven soon arrived in Gadar's home, much to their excitement, leading Faxi to famously proclaim that they had discovered a great land. They eventually landed in Bardistan for the winter, and because of the bountiful fish, the crew failed to gather hay for their animals, who died during the cold winter. The following spring, Floki climbed to the mountain to look further beyond their position, and discovered drift ice, inspiring him to rename the island to Iceland, a name which stuck. Upon their return to Norway, Floki spoke ill of the island, while Hurolf spoke more fair of the island. Thurolf claimed that every blade of grass dripped in butter, giving him the nickname of Smear. 